I'm starting this vlog off with a bang. This is so fun to me. I have a package here, lots of things. This is from Perma Earth. Y'all know I've been on like a natural journey. Perma Earth is absolutely like my favorite company right now. They do skincare, hair care, soaps, moisturizers, shampoo, conditioner, but they make everything with like tallow or lard. That's all pasture raised, really clean ingredients. And they are also a Christian owned, Christian ran company and they're not quiet about their beliefs and I am just obsessed. So I'm gonna share like all of what we got. I'll have them linked down below. My favorite thing I've discovered from them is their shampoo bars, which is also just a soap bar. We got northern pine forest two of the eucalyptus mint leaf this um farm fresh milk lotion which is literally lotion made with like milk and aloe and things i've yet to try a liquid lotion like this they're tallow butters insane it's a moisturizer but it's like heaven sent it is so amazing zachary's mom got this one it's an aloe vera one and then she also got this new one which is their sun cream so it's their like regular tallow recipe but then they added zinc oxide to make it a sunscreen and it's coconut scented it smells and i just want to eat it up it smells so good so she got one of these and i got one of these as well zachary's uncle got some bath bombs i have tried their bath bombs before and love how luxurious you feel i think they're all buttermilk or mostly buttermilk based he got a sea salt a wild rose and an unscented and then because we did the earth day order we got a couple free gifts so we got this five pack of soap bar samples i'm giving two to zachary's family the walnut and pumice one and the unscented buttercream and then i'm keeping goat smell purely primal and bourbon and whiskey ladies if you want your man to smell like a snack and have clean ingredients you need to order this one that smells so insane like i can't wait for zachary to use that <laughs> three of the shampoo soap bars as well we got warm vanilla and brown sugar we got a sandalwood and cedar and then we got the orange peel and pineapple sage also just smells like a vacation like i need to sit on the beach and i'm gonna try for the first time some of their conditioners so this is the sandalwood vanilla conditioner bar the thing about their conditioner bars is you can use it as like a bar if you would like or they have instructions on the back for how you can turn it into a liquid actually if you want like a pump another one of the free gifts we got they're wax melts you know like the wax melts you get from scentsy or whatever but these are clean ingredient ones and i think this is like pine and eucalyptus or something it's very clean and fresh smelling so i'm excited to use those the last thing i ordered is another tallow balm because i just ran out of my vanilla i was scraping the bottom of that thing with my nail it was so amazing so i have a different one upstairs it is the ginger spice one which was a seasonal one i'm still using that but i wanted another one to switch up the scent so i got honey berry it takes me back to something in my childhood i don't know what but it smells insane. It's like, there's so many different scents to it. Like you can keep smelling it and you keep getting different things. Floral and fruity, but clean. It's divine. It's insane. They're an amazing company. I'll have it linked down below. I just had to share and the rest of this vlog, who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> to be shaped for his glory. No, my sin, my pride, all of it had to be killed. My heart had to be made new. Will his purposes and not my own. It meant no autonomy. This is the first time I've come out to my car since uh, this happened and I'm so irritated. It's so stuck on there. Like it does not come off but I have a story for you. So I had to go to the social security office a couple days ago because I'm trying to change my name since we got married. So I went down there on Monday and it was so packed. There was not a single parking spot. So I had to 
go back out and drive around down the street to park so i decided i would just park in like a gas station because it was simple and you know i just i could see it from where i was going to be standing in line so it felt like a safe place to be so i park there right next to another car regular old parking spot and i go into the social security office i'm in the social security office for about two hours i finally come out to my car i'm like so excited to get my coffee and you know enjoy the rest of my day now that i've sat in that office for two hours and i come around to the side of my car and there's a big fat parking violation sticker and i could not begin to tell you why it didn't have any information written on it there's no date no nothing it just says that this car is subject to being towed for traffic violation confused but mostly upset because that freaking sticker does not come off <laughs> that was my biggest pet peeve about it was that the fact that the sticker was so sticky i'm heading out to sprouts i actually did all of our grocery shopping a couple days ago but we are eating super super clean this month which I'll touch on a little bit later. So I realized like we need more of things that we don't normally need as much of on a regular week. So I'm gonna go and kind of like restock on those couple things at Sprouts. such a beautiful day chat about our new food thing for the month in the car i did grab a couple things from sprouts you should have pretty much seen everything i got i just got some honey raw cheese and eggs i wanted to just chat with you guys about how we're eating like cleaner i mean wow if you've been with me for any length of time on my youtube channel you know that i kind of for the last like three four five years have like constantly been changing the way that I eat but for the last about two years I've been eating relatively the same and for the last definitely one year it's been very consistent and I've been loving it I guess I should say the way that I've been eating for the last year is animal based which I've got multiple videos on that so you can go to my channel just type in like animal based and watch those videos I don't want to explain too much here because I feel like a lot of you already know from my previous videos but that's how I've been eating for the last year or so with a few cheats in there so I would eat things like nuts chocolates things made with like homemade sourdough stuff like that that's technically not allowed on on the animal based diet not that they're awful for you or anything but for this month of may what zachary and i and his parents are doing are actually going to go like hardcore animal based no cheating just for the month just to kind of like see what happens see how we feel see how our workouts go how we sleep all of that stuff because like what you eat really affects every aspect of your life i totally forgot i bought a new plant on monday when it comes to plants, I truly have no idea what I'm doing. I just kind of like do what feels right, I guess. Sorry about all the noise. We have new neighbors and they've been renovating every hour of the day and night for the last few weeks. This is my little plant that I got. I don't even know what it is. I just know it's some kind of succulent. I forgot to get the pot. That would probably be helpful. Okay, this is the pot. How stinking cute. Uh, Zachary's uncle actually owns um, like a little company and they do these plant pots. So there's this size, which is the small one, and then there's the large one. And they come in a bunch of different colors, but I preferred the green, of course. And I'll have these linked down below. I got mine on Amazon. That's uh, pretty much where he sells them. Watch out, go over there. He's so cute. I keep my plants that don't need to be watered much over here because I forget about them a lot. But it seems like both of these plants need to be watered like once every 10 days or so. Maybe even less for the succulent, but I've had this guy for uh, over a year um, and he just chills here. It's never really gotten much bigger, but it's it always looks good. So I don't know. And now we've got this little guy over here too in the little entryway. I think it's super cute. I tried my hand at homemade lemonade the other day. It's not the greatest lemonade that I've ever had, but that's because I used coconut sugar. I was trying to keep it 
healthier. I'm just not a fan of the coconut sugar in it. I love it for baking or for making coffee syrups, but for lemonade, it just doesn't match well. So uh, next time I think I'll use honey and see how that goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I look psychotic. Can you tell I just got back from the gym? That's crazy. I didn't know I look like that. Um, I'm really red. I needed this. Mm, that's like the best shake I've made in a really long time. I just talked about this over my Instagram, so I'm not going to get into it too much, but I'm trying to get back into cardio endurance training. I've stepped away from that for like years. Like years, years, like probably five, six years. Six to seven is probably more accurate. I just wanna get back into it. I don't wanna do it for health reasons. Honestly, I wanna do it for like the mental strength of it because I hate cardio, I hate it especially running worst thing in the world is running and that's why i'm doing it <laughs> to mentally show myself that i can do it i know i can physically do it it's a mental process for me so i had to make this shake before i died i'm just drained 45 minutes of like walking jogging and that is a lot for me but i want to show you what i put in my shake and also i got an amazon package this is the good stuff, collagen peptides. If you are not putting this in your morning coffee or your post-workout smoothie or whatever you choose, if you are not doing collagen every day, you are missing out. That sounded really mean, like, do this. Okay, let me, let me calm down a little bit. Collagen has been amazing. Not only does it have so many good like minerals and things in it, it's so good for like muscle building, bone structure, mental health. It is so good for a billion things. And it's also full of protein. There's a lot of protein. I think when I put this in my shake, I'm getting like 13, 14 grams of protein and that's not even like a protein powder. Good, good, good stuff. So this is in my shake. This is always linked down below because it is in my Amazon storefront. This is the cheapest brand I've ever seen and such high quality. If you're gonna get collagen, get this one. I wanted to show you what else I put in my shake because it's actually so good. I used to go to this gym where they had like a cafe type thing inside where you could go get like a protein smoothie after your workout and they were really good but it was full of so many bad ingredients. This one, it's like banana pudding in a smoothie and so this is the one I like tried to recreate from them. I use a scoop and a half of the collagen peptides, one and a half frozen bananas. Right now we're using this grass-fed A2 milk. It's just much better for digestion, for gut health, and grass-fed is always better. Ideally we would use raw milk, but we only get that once a month because it's in another state. <laughs> so we don't always have that on hand. I also like to put in cottage cheese. I promise you, you cannot taste it. It just adds protein and it makes it really, really creamy. So I do like a scoop and a half on like a regular spoon. And lastly, to sweeten it up, I do honey. Sometimes I'll do maple if I want to switch it up, but honey is usually my favorite. I just want to get a raw, unfiltered, organic honey. And don't be shy with the honey. Like, go in there. Honey is really good for you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!